Well, it's that time of year again. It's Halloween, and I love Halloween. The costumes, the candy, the decorations. It's just an all-around fun holiday. This year, we were looking for a costume for our two-year-old, and I had no idea how expensive these little kid costumes are, especially considering the fact that they can only be used once. I mean, next year, she's going to be two feet taller than she is this year, so it's just flushing money down the drain. So I figured, I fancy myself a maker, I build furniture, I do home renovations, I built an R2-D2, I build models, I know my way around a shop. So I figured, why not? I can do this right. Now my daughter's a big fan of Nickelodeon's Bubble Guppies, so this gives me some really great source material to work from. However, I feel that this is going to mean a lot of sewing, and uh, well, I've actually never sewn anything before, so this could be interesting. So stick around and watch this first timer's adventure in sewing land as I build Dima from Bubble Guppies, here on Made by AP. <laughs> So, this is the way I've been seeing it on the Pinterest. It looks like a giant whale, whale tail. Uh, and then we'll make her a little top as well. And there's going to be po yellow polka dots on this. Okay, so how we're going to do this though is uh, we're going to make a, the tail piece. What does the tail look like? That looks more like an anchor. Yeah, close enough, right? Okay, but on the tail, and then on the back we're going to have, I think I have some elastic. So what we'll do is we'll make a little, oh, you know what, we'll do Velcro instead. So we'll make a little kind of like apron thing, like that. To go around her, that'll have the Velcro on it. Velcro. Um, and the top will be super easy. Maybe we'll make, uh, maybe we'll make that Velcro too, if I have any left over. Okay, so then the top will just be this, like, wide piece here with Velcro, 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 Velcro. So that's the top, bottom. Uh, polka dots. Polka dots, polka dots, polka dots, polka dots, polka dots. Okay. Cool. Let's get going. So now that I have my sketch in my notebook, I need to draw out the pattern onto some rosin paper. Uh, this will allow me to have something to cut the fabric against uh, when I'm ready to start sewing. I used white chalk to transfer the pattern onto my orange fabric. That just made it easier for me to cut out instead of pinning the paper onto the fabric. Once everything was cut out, time to hit the sewing machine. Okay, moment of truth. We've put the seams on and uh, I'll now flip it out. It's like a little claw. Ooh, I'm feeling good about this. Feeling good about this. All right. Uh, uh, it's not completely awful. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, you know what? For the first time doing something like this, I have to say, I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Hey, all right, check it out. We have a mermaid tail. Ah, check it out. How cool is that? Okay, now let's stuff it. Okay, so now that the tail's complete, I need to stuff it to give it some, you know, body, you know, make it a little bit more firm. Uh, so we're gonna kind of stuff this like a pillow. So I'm just gonna grab some uh, dry polyester uh, packing fiber fill. 
Uh, it's ideal for doll making. I don't know if it is um, fire retardant. Uh, so don't stuff pillows with this. <laughs> probably made out of gasoline. Uh, it's good for an outdoorsy uh, Halloween costume. Just don't smoke next to it or light candles or anything like that. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to stuff it into the tail here. Um, it's kind of like uh, basting a mold, you know? You have to get into all the crevasses of this little pillow here because uh, you don't want any limp fins. That's not a good thing. Is that appropriate for this? Who knows? All right, so we just keep on stuffing. Uh, and you know what? At first I was gonna try to just put a minimum amount in here so it just had a little bit of body, but as I keep stuffing it, I kind of like it uh, filled out. It actually helps get rid of some of the wrinkles, uh, which is nice. And uh, who knows, maybe after Halloween we can turn this into a uh, mermaid tail pillow, right? Right? This looks comfortable. Oh, this would be great on a plane, right? Just kind of like wrap it around your head like that. Oh, look at this. We have uses for post-Halloween for Dima's tail. Sweet. Okay. So we just keep stuffing it. And I think, I don't know, I feel good about that. Just going to massage it all into place there. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I like it. All right. So we're going to sew a uh, belt on the top. That'll wrap around her waist and uh, Velcro together. And then we are going to glue on the uh, yellow polka dots. So uh, let's go do that. What I ended up doing was creating a belt uh, that had Velcro on it. And then I attached Velcro to the tail itself. So the tail in essence just stuck onto the belt instead of actually sewing the belt onto the tail. This was just easier than trying to get the stuffed tail and a belt under the sewing machine. All right, so for the next problem that we need to solve for, it's the wig, uh, which is, if you've seen the cartoon or we'll throw up the picture, uh, but it's almost three kind of cylinders, um, you know, one sticking out of the top, two on the sides, and they're covered with all these yellow pom-poms. So I went to Stop and Shop and bought about 600 cotton balls. And I think we'll get close to where we need to be with that. Went to my local craft store and picked up some styrofoam cones. And if you can see, this is kind of what I'm going for. Uh, so we'll put the pom-poms or the, uh, the cotton balls on this. We will airbrush that yellow or some sort of blondish kind of color. But the first thing I need to solve for is how to actually make a hat out of all of this. Uh, I couldn't for the life of me find anywhere at my local craft stores, all three of them, um, some sort of hat framework that I can attach this all to. So I have my new sewing machine and I have no idea how I'm going to do this, but I think I'm going to sew one. I don't know. We'll see what happens, right? All right. Let's do this. Uh, kind of pattern here. So I'm just going to do that. And uh, so up here. Something that resembles. Hey, all right. Yahtzee. Wow, 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 wow. We have a hat. Leora, come here. Leora, go see daddy. We made the cap that we are going to uh, put the wig on. And here we are testing it. Oh, nope, do not play with this. Hey, hey, here, look at you, look at you. It's you. Wow. Yellow. Lots of yellow here today. Oh, there you go. Lira, what do you think? You look like a Soviet swimmer. Hat. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yes, hat. Hey. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna finish your wig 
for uh, bubble guppies, right? Right? Head. Head. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> okay, so I've moved to another room because it's hot glue time. Um, and I didn't want to do that over the fancy dining room table. Well, I can't use my wood shop because that's really dusty and dirty and it's not conducive to working with fabrics um, that are going to be worn by my two-year-old. Uh, my office is currently a droid factory. I have my 3D printer running right now and uh, R2 is in different states of disrepair at the moment. So I figured, why not the kitchen? Uh, it seems to be a safe enough place to use my hot glue gun. So what I'm going to do now is I've test fitted this cap on Lyra and I kind of have a rough idea as to how it will sit on her head. And what I'm going to do now is just start hot gluing the pieces to this and hopefully the hot glue is strong enough to hold not only the styrofoam and the fabric together but also not melt the styrofoam. We're good enough here. So first we're going to do Okay, one thing that I didn't think about, but I've now resolved, is um, when you hot glue these things to the uh, fabric, it's a little rough on the inside because it's very flat. So what I did and I didn't film is I actually created a padding and padded interior with some, uh, with some fill. So when it goes over my daughter's head, it won't be as uncomfortable. It'll give her a little extra padding and comfort there. So. Uh, Check that out, it's nice and comfy. I think we are ready to test fit and then move forward with putting on all of the cotton balls. Okay, everyone, now is the time for some adjustments. So we've tried this uh, lovely wig on my daughter a couple times and found that it's a little top heavy. Um, I mean, with the foam cones, with the uh, cotton balls on top of it, it just kind of weighs her down a little bit. So what we're going to do is uh, trim down the cones. I'm gonna take about an inch and a half, two inches off of each side. So hopefully that'll get us um, lighten this up a little bit for her. We've taken this down to the wood shop finally. Uh, hopefully I've cleared up a space that's not covered in sawdust so I won't be uh, uh, spoiling this with uh, walnut and uh, pine debris. But uh, anyway, let's get chopping. Alright, so actually can I just Take this off. No. Whoa. Okay. Uh, inch and a half. Two inches. If I took two inches off there and two inches off here, and well, that's gonna be way too little. Do an inch and a half, okay. Okay. And. Okay, so now, let's put this back together. So while I'm waiting for the glue gun to heat up so I can reattach Dima's horns, I figure I'd take this time to start gluing on the yellow dots on the tail and the, um, the uh, bikini top. And to do that, I am just going to use some Gorilla Spray Adhesive. Uh, it's heavy duty. I've never used it before for this type of application, uh, but it says it's good for fabric, so we'll give it a try. Hopefully it will have a nice bond with the fabric and uh, my daughter won't be ripping off these dots while she's trick-or-treating. Let's see what happens. Let's do the middle part first.
All right, everybody, it is time to paint the wig. <laughs> I probably should uh, fix some of this mess here. Uh, so all I'm going to do is uh, airbrush it. Uh, I'm using this uh, yellow, and I'll probably, uh, it's just regular airbrush paint, uh, Creatix yellow, and I think I'll probably mix in a little uh, Tamiya flat red into that, just to give it a, a hint of orange to it, because I think Dima's hair has a little bit of a hint of orange to it. It's not pure. Actually, you know what? We'll start with the yellow. If that comes out looking like crap, then we will uh, switch it up and put some flat red in there and see what that does for it. All right, let's give this a try. I'm just using a regular Iwata uh, airbrush. Uh, this, I love this thing. I've used it. Uh, this is the uh, Neo for Iwata. Uh, this is a great, uh, pretty much basic airbrush. Uh, I use it for a lot of uh, modeling work that I do. Uh, it is a you know one of those controlled ones, so you just press it down and you pull it back to release the. Uh, at least the flow. It's good stuff. Okay. Oh, that's actually not that bad. So another good thing about using an airbrush is that the paint is acrylic and there's no um, um, there's no propulsion gas in it like you would have in a uh, rattle can, a spray can, spray paint can. And so the fumes are actually pretty manageable. Uh, and in fact, when you're using an acrylic, which is a water-based paint, the fumes are practically non-existent. So you really don't even need any, you know, um, uh, masks to protect your lungs. Uh, although you probably should wear a mask anytime you're using some sort of spray. Uh, paint or adhesive. So, um, but yeah, this is great uh, because my wife lets me do it in the house instead of in the garage. And as it's getting colder in the Northeast here, um, the more work I can be doing in my workshop in the house is good. So. All right, we're good. So now we have our wig. Okay, well, the costume is finally complete. Uh, we made it out of three pieces. There's the wig, the top, and then the tail piece. So I was able to finish the project just in time for Halloween. The unfortunate thing, though, is that, and I can't believe I didn't think about this before, is that a, um, is that a toddler is not really into wearing costumes, or wigs, more importantly. Every time we try to put the wig on, she would rip it off, she would toss it off, she would throw it, she would rip off the pom-poms. It was uh, frightening, uh, to say the least. So we ended up doing something a little bit more lo-fi, um, and hopefully next year she will be ready to wear this, and hopefully she fits into it next year. Otherwise, this was really just a project for you all. So I learned a few things along the way. Uh, first of all, the circles on both the tail and the top. In hindsight, I should have cut these out and then sewn them on before sealing up the seams. This would have made them much more permanent on the tail and the top. The glue that I used, the spray adhesive that I used, was not very strong. I mean, it would stay on for a little while, but then she would just go and rip them off. So then we would have a naked tail. Uh, I ended up hot gluing these on for Halloween, and they actually are on there pretty sturdily. Uh, I just would not have wanted to do that to begin with, so in hindsight, I would have sewn these on before sealing this up. The other thing, too, is that the pom-poms, the uh, cotton balls, they just they just fall off. They, they, they rip off like it's nobody's business. They are just fibers uh, that are glued on to this thing, so it, it, they just fall off. I would have preferred to have found something that was more solid that would have stuck to this better. The pom-poms were great, but again, when you're putting them, uh, putting this on the head of a child that's going to rip it off, they just come out in clumps. So 
Again, hindsight's 2020. Overall, this was a fun project to work on. Really got to exercise some interesting problem solving skills. If you decide to tackle this project, I would love to see how you accomplished this. Please leave a comment or post your pictures, share your pictures, and uh, let me know how it turned out for you. So until then, stop planning, start making. See you soon. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. I don't understand why people don't take me seriously. <laughs> so stick around and watch this first timer's adventure. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, okay. She's, she's on board for this. All right, let's go. Uh, and my office is a drug yeah. factory currently. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. Ah, hug. Yeah, hug. Hug. Yes. So while I'm waiting for the heat gun to go, uh, <clears throat> so while I'm waiting for the heat gun to.